Welcome everyone to the Terraria 2020 NPC Olympics contender rounds aka we're seeing what NPCs can contend for the Olympics and can actually compete in it just like we did last year and we are here with a bunch of new NPCs that are going to be fighting for the NPC Olympic title and we also got some new games but we're starting with some classics here. We are starting with none other than the NPC races a whole new track just one track for four NPCs to race on at a time and let's go over each segment slash theme of this new npc racetrack so the first part of our npc racetrack here is hop highway the npcs will start the race and have to jump over four hurdles to make it into the next area which is called actuator alley and as you can see here we got actuators with different timers going off in the npcs all they gotta do is make it past them sometimes npcs can get stuck on them but what can you do that's the npc's fault and terraria programmers fault next up we got cardio canyon everyone's favorite i actually okay this didn't exist so it can't really be everyone's favorite but it will be everyone's favorite now maybe i don't know nbcs all they got to do is run in a straight line they got little booster tracks down there and last but not least the final area for the npcs a fan favorite well i thought the last one was everyone's favorite my favorite sit yo ass down where the npcs will make it to the final part of the track and whatever npcs make it the first one to sit down will be going to the npc olympics and the reason and I have the guide there is because this is actually his home and we're just using it for now so he can't really be in there or else he's gonna be sitting down everywhere but yeah you may have noticed something over here at the beginning of hop highway that there is a statue of a zombie this is from the builders plus mod and I have this button here right when I start the NPC races like boom NPCs are going I'm going to activate this zombie like a second after the NPC start because this zombie right here will be the one to give the NPC some initiative to run to the right and they will run to the right now sometimes they get stuck like I said that's not not my fault nothing i can do about that npcs just get stuck randomly but most of the time they will run to the right and this zombie will push them all the way over here and when the zombie reaches this point zombie despawn what the hell when the zombie reaches this end point right here where these torches are being placed i will kill the zombie and whatever npcs are not inside of here already say there's npcs just standing right outside the door then oh well too bad for them if the zombie made it to the final point we push them out of the way and we block the door off because now it's time to see who's gonna sit down first so that that is our rules here today you know i had a lot of people in not only the npc olympics themselves for 2019 but you know the original races people were like Wah. game raiders the track is unfair boo hoo that your amalgamation of pixels does not make it to the end remember that the npc olympics are all just for fun we're here to enjoy it see what happens if some funny slash jank things happen oh well so be it you know one thing i didn't account for in the last npc races was that npcs can see mobs through blocks which is really weird i didn't think about that because i had a track on the previous npc races and hopefully it'll pop up on the screen the track with the golems that spawn and they were supposed to push npcs i didn't take into account that the npcs would detect you know monsters through the floor which is kind of weird they shouldn't really do that maybe if it's like platforms yeah i could see an npc detecting them but through floors with blocks like this is two blocks wide and npcs can detect that there's a monster there so that's kind of weird that npcs do that not really my fault but yeah i didn't take account for all that in the last one who cares though this is all for fun people were legit like crying boohoo let's get into the races and meet our contestants we have our first npc here the professor dr klutz from the wacky npcs mod we have our next npc the hunter from the helpful npcs mod we have another npc the corruption fangirl indigo from either the wacky npcs mod or the uh koru and krim npcs i don't know the it's the same mod creator i believe but he just like compacted a bunch of his npc mods together and last but not least we have the bandit tony from the useful npcs mod how many npc mods did i install there's useful helpful wacky i don't know it's a bunch of newcomers like i wanted but there's also you know big mods that have a bunch of npcs that i want to try out so we'll see what the npcs make it in here all right we're about to begin our first race i did a couple of edits to the track so hopefully they don't get stuck but who knows the terraria npc ai is something to be astonished by with how stupid 
they are. But yeah, let's do it. I have a fair and fun race. I don't know. I'm gonna get yelled at in the comments either way. Let's do it. Three, two, one. You may begin your race. Zombie, get them. Please get them. I want this zombie to somehow face through the blocks and eat one of them. But let's do it. As you can see, we have the professor in the lead. Same thing with the corruption fangirl. Hopefully, they don't get stuck here because this is a part of a track where I noticed they get stuck a lot is actuator alley. I don't know why they like walking to the left. Hopefully, the zombie wakes up their AI here. He is not waking up their AI. I'm going to try and like fidget him a little bit. Okay, if their AI doesn't want to work, then their AI doesn't want to work. We have the bandit and the hunter fighting for a spot in the NPC Olympics. It's anyone's game. The hunter waving at the bandit. Is that BM? Is he taunting him? You hate to see it. Oh, the bandit talking shit back. He made it in there. He also made it in there. NPC or zombie gone. Oh my God, did you see it? Before I can even kill the zombie, the bandit sat down first. Congratulations, bandit. You are our first NPC Olympics contender. Here's the reward for everyone else's failure. You all get to die. Let us meet our next contestant here, the minor NPC from the helpful NPCs mod. Our boy Thomas. What's up, Thomas? Next up here, we got Cerise or Cherise. I don't know, something like that. The Crimson fangirl from the wacky NPCs and the Koro and Crim NPCs mod. Next up, we have the environmentalist NPC from the helpful NPCs mod. My boy Theo Frastis. I hope you lose because that name is stupid and he's got Cheeto dust on his toes, as you can see. And the fourth and final NPC for this second round, Lewis, the old champion from the useful NPCs mod. I don't know what old champion means, but with a name like that, you think you would win this next race. All right, again, let's hope we have a nice and fair race. I will be fidgeting the zombie a little bit every now and then if a bunch of NPCs get stuck. I'll try my best to get them unstuck, which may be a little bit fair, but boohoo, go cry in your pillow or something like that, because who cares? Let's get to it. Three, two, one, you may begin. Here comes the zombie. Please, nobody get stuck. Let's have a nice race for once like a nice race where everyone is running on all cylinders is that a phrase people use but let's see here we have the crimson fangirl and i don't even remember the cheeto dust toes guy up in first uh oh bunch of npcs like they're getting stuck let's see if i can help them out here okay did the best of my ability to help them out three of them made it out which is way more exciting than just two of them and also way more exciting than just one of them the old champion and the miner in the back while cheeto dust toes man is in the front i honestly think he's gonna take it what is the guy doing in here i told you to stay in there let's see if cheeto dust man makes it so boom bada bing the npcs made it to the end i'm gonna kill off the zombie and shut this door and let's see who is the first to sit down they're having conversations thinking it's a fun time but little do they know everyone else dies whoever doesn't sit down everyone else is dying so you better sit your ass down uh oh and we have the miner the first one to sit down i'm sorry cheeto dust toe man and i'm sorry old champion lewis what the hell kind of name is that i'm gonna toss you over there congratulations to thomas the miner you are moving on to the npc olympics all right the first person for our next group of npcs is the scam artist from the wacky npcs mod uria what's up next up is the pick lock npc also from the wacky npcs mod my boy igor igor whatever you want to say next up we got the magic merchant npc from useful npcs willy and last but not least also from useful npcs the builder npc aka just a red version of the painter what's up marco all right here we go let's have a nice fair race whatever you know what i'm saying already you know you think i would make a racetrack that goes from right to left but instead i make them left to right i guess i don't know i'm used to doing things left to right and not right to left it's like do you read a book from right to left hell no you read it left to right well maybe from in other countries i don't know but let's do it have a fair race blah 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 just just go be in the race don't get stuck make me not have to get people unstuck for once okay <laughs> That would make it a nice and fun race for me. For me. I don't care about y'all. Let me get a nice fun race for me where I don't have to, you know, finagle and move some NPCs. Is that a word? Finagle? I have a feeling a bunch of NPCs are about to get stuck right here. Let's see though. Let's see. Okay, literally all of them but two. Come on. You guys can get out. There we go. We got a full heat of people. Is that what they say? They they use the word heat when it comes to racing, right? They're like, here comes the next heat. I don't know. I could just be making shit up. But we got two NPCs who are completely ahead of the pack. The door just did not open right there. Come on. Just get in. I opened the door for you. I don't know how you close the door when you step on the pressure plate at the same time. Okay, those two made it in. The zombie made it to the end and these two NPCs are stuck outside the door. I'm sorry, y'all gotta get the hell out of here. You fucked up. But here we go. We got our boys here, the builder and the magic merchant. Let's see which one sits down first. 
Oh, and the magic merchant quick to sit his ass down. I'm sorry, builder, and you other dumbasses that got stuck at the door when you were in first place. You're dying. The magic merchant is going to the NPC Olympics. Congratulations. We are here with the fourth and final round of NPCs that are going to be racing today. And we got my boy, Kurt. What a name. The fisherman NPC Kurt from the helpful NPCs mod. Hello, Kurt. Next up, we have the bandit NPC Diane from the Calamity mod. Hopefully, this NPC doesn't make it because I know Calamity mods are known to be very strong when it comes to hand to hand combat. And, uh, you know, there's another event from the past that is making an appearance in this NPC Olympics, aka Smashing My Bros. No homo. That's where the NPCs 1v1. So if she makes it. She might have a very high advantage at Smashing My Bros. Huh? That didn't sound right. Next up, we got the mutant from the Fargo's mod. Hopefully this dude also doesn't make it because I know this NPC is strong as hell. But welcome to the race event of the NPC Olympics, Mr. Fergo. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the Abomination also from the Fargo's mod. Pretty much the brother of the mutant from the Fargo's mod. What's up, Jack? What an interesting name. But yeah, this is our final group here. Let's see who wins. Have a nice and fair race, everyone. Begin the final race now. Go get them, zombie. Like I said, I hope one of these days the zombie clips through and just takes a bite out of someone. Oh, Jack, already having a bad start. Maybe because he's too goddamn big. Who knows? But we got the two NPCs in the lead here. Oh, everybody's tied now. Everyone is neck and neck. They're they can touch each other's necks. But look at this. Are they going to get stuck? Yes, kind of. All right, let me try and get everyone unstuck. There we go. But my boy, Kurt still in the lead oh kurt slowing down a little bit come on kurt you had the lead my boy kurt not even running he's not he doesn't even care about the race anymore he just gave up the door is open get in there everybody get in i want this to be you know a three-way not like that though okay you know what kurt that's too damn bad it's your fault you started walking so we have the bandit and the mutant the two npcs that i didn't want to make it it's all good well the abomination probably would have been strong too but let's see who takes it it's anyone's game when it comes to these two. Oh, she's showing hearts she might be falling in love with the mutant and the mutant seems like he's singing her a song she she wants to mine him i don't know oh he wants to run away <laughs> oh he's showing, showing heart backs we have a love story here we have a love story where's taylor swift at didn't she make a song called that can somebody sit their asses down i'm gonna be here a while aren't i oh we got movement and look at that the bandit npc finding her way into the mutant's heart and telling him hey i'll give you a little something something if you let me win this congratulations bandit you are moving to the npc olympics to represent the calamity mod i'm sorry fergo but it's time for you to go you too kurt you upset me i was voting for my boy kurt the whole time he upset me you know who's even more upsetting this motherfucker over here bro did you even try so here are the four winners ready to do my bidding just to stay alive. But yeah, congratulations to these four. And, uh, you know, they're ready to represent their mod for the NPC Olympics. The thing is, I think they're all a part of the same mod. Okay, so the bandit is useful NPCs. Same thing with the magic merchant. The miner is helpful NPCs. And the other bandit, I believe this is also a bandit NPC, is Calamity. So we got some variety in here. I tried not to use any NPCs that competed in the past, but we might end up doing that. I don't know. There's still a lot of mods that I haven't used NPCs from, so I'm going to try and install those and hopefully my game doesn't crash from having so many big mods down motherfuckers in sync right now look at this got me a little dance show happening but yeah hope you guys enjoyed do have, do whatever you want to do in the comments complain about the track being unfair hey it's a lot more fair than the last one who cares whatever bye bye make sure to subscribe so you see part two